All right, y'all, today I'm gonna show you how to make some crawfish pies. Let's go. All right, y'all, so look, first thing first, you got a half a cup of green onion. Go ahead and cut that up. Make sure it's diced up real good. Then you're gonna go on to the celery, okay? Let's go ahead and cut you up good two stalks of celery. You don't want to put too much, okay? So two is about good enough. All right, y'all, so we went ahead. We finally, finally chopped up to two stalks of celery. You can see how fine we cut it. Go ahead with one small yellow onion, y'all. Okay, that'll be good enough for the crawfish or the pies. Because you really don't want to have too much onion in it, but you do want the flavor. It's not too much, okay? So don't go with like a medium or a large. If so, just do a half, you know? Uh, just dice it up real small, okay? Small as you can. All right, y'all, now let's go ahead on and dice up a green bell pepper, okay? And y'all can see with the onion, I diced that up fine just like I did, you know, the rest, okay? So just get it, like I said, when it comes to making crawfish pies, you want to make sure that it's diced up pretty good, okay? All right, y'all, we got everything sliced and diced. Let's go to the stove. All right, y'all, get your pot on the stove and go in with a half a stick of butter. All right, y'all, so get your pot on the stove and go in with a half a stick of butter. Y'all, the butter melted down, go in there with the celery and bell pepper, your green onion, as well as your yellow onion, y'all. What I want y'all to do ahead now is go ahead on and give it a mix around, okay? And I want you to go ahead on and cook that down for 10 minutes, all right? All right, y'all, now go ahead on in a separate pot. What I want you to do is, is go on one cup of rice, okay? Let's get that cooking. Supposed to be cooking down about eight minutes. Go in there with two tablespoons of minced garlic, okay? Then what I want you to do is go in there with some black pepper. All right. And then go in there with your whole pound of crawfish, okay? Put those up in there. And of course, you already know, Cajun seasoning. About two teaspoons or so. Now, let's go ahead on, y'all, and give everything a mix around at this point. Let this here cook for three minutes. All right, y'all, so check it out. Everything been cooking together with them crawfish there for about a good three minutes. Go in there with that one cup of rice. Okay, now, what you'll do is, of course, just go ahead and mix everything together. Let me show you. And I want you to let it cook for one more minute, and then we're going to just let it sit there, y'all, and cool down, okay? Hold up, check it out. So just look how good that looks, y'all. And this here is for the middle, the stuffing of the crawfish pies, okay? So like I said, once you add the rice, let that cook in just to get the flavors in it for about one minute, no more. Then go ahead on, turn it off, y'all, and it's gotta cool down, okay? All right, y'all, so check it out. We got the, the stuffing that we got all that there ready. It's cooled down enough for us to work with. Get your little rolling pin, get your little scoop okay so you can get it out and this is what i like to do i get a can of biscuit y'all and this is the dough i'm going to use if you want to make the dough you absolutely can that's no problem but for me personally i think this just works out perfect it's simple it's easy and i mean it so honestly it's all you need okay so just go ahead on and roll it on out i'll show you also look once you got your biscuit you know what i'm saying rolled out like that it's good to go Go ahead and get you a scoop of your mixture here. You don't want to go with too much now, okay? Because then you won't be able to seal it up, okay? So just go ahead, something like that right here. Now, y'all know we already seasoned it up, okay? Of course, we cooked it, but what I do is I like to throw a little bit more seasoning. Now, don't get too carried away, okay? But just a little something like that. I also add a little pepper at this point. Nothing crazy. And then just go ahead on and flip it on over. Like so and push it down with your fingers like this, okay, y'all? Look, just like that, okay? Make sure it's closed all the way up, okay? Like that. Just like so, all right? So, this is what we're looking for, just like that. Take this here, y'all, throw it down on your pan, okay? And go to your next one. Now, you're probably gonna get about a good 15 to 20 crawfish pies, so you're gonna need at least two to three rolls of, of, of biscuits when you go to make this, but uh, just continue the process.
All right, y'all, so I got some made. I've been having a deep fry on 350. It's ready to go, so let's go put them in a deep fry. All right, y'all, now like I said, just go ahead on. That grease is at 350 degrees. Drop them on in, like so. All right, let's let them cook for about three minutes or so, okay? All right, y'all, so what I'm doing is just about every 30 seconds or so, just go ahead on and try and give it a flip around, okay? It don't take long to cook, like I said. I said it's about almost done. About 15 seconds on the other side, I'm going to call that one done. 15 seconds on these two will be done, okay? That's what you want them to look like. Nice little golden brown. All right, y'all, so we took them out. We put them on a the napkin so the grease cuts it off them. Then said, what you do here? Take a little bit of Cajun seasoning, put it right on top of them. Not too much now, okay? Don't get carried away. And then they're just ready to enjoy, okay? Just grab. Now, let me tell you this. When you use the biscuit dough, instead of, like, making a dough, it is more puffy than your original meat pies you get at the store, but they're delicious, okay? So if you just go ahead and break one open, you can kind of see how it looks like, kind of like a pastry, and there's your stuffing right there. But these are great to make for, like, a football game, some little appetizers or whatever have you. I guarantee you everybody's going to enjoy them, so... Definitely give them a try, y'all. Y'all, right, so check it out. If you like the video, hit the like button, y'all. Leave a comment what you want me to make next, and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate y'all, and I'll see y'all next time.